Hi, so the next project is a spaghetti top for a 9 to 10 year old kid and for that I am going to use this Nako My Love yarn which is a 100% premium acrylic yarn and it's a 150 gram ball which is having 265 meter length and it's mentioned here 3 mm crochet hook okay but I have done a couple of projects with this yarn and when I use the 3 mm crochet hook it's coming really tight so it, uh, the project is becoming really stiff so I'm going to use a 4 mm hook instead of 3 mm so how to do this spaghetti top so this is the top which I am going to use as a measurement for this project ok so what I do is so this is the width of the top so what I do is I measure this width and I double it because there is a front side and there is a back side and then I will make a chain which is equivalent to this width, 2 times this width. So for that, first we, what we will do is we will make a loop. So making a loop, I hope everyone is knowing, we take the tail and then put it on top of the thread, the long outside and then pull the tail inside and then in, insert your crochet hook and then tighten it. So that's the loop and then we will start chaining so we will yarn over we will put the yarn on top of the crochet hook and then pull this yarn through the loop which is on the crochet hook same way two three four five like that i will finish this thread which is as long as two times this width so this project when you are doing this project you take the measurement of any dress and uh, for that project and then make a chain which is equivalent to the width of that dress two times the width of that dress so right now i am going to chain till the width okay so the chaining is over so like when you are taking the width, you take from the middle of the dress, not from the this area, not from the top and not from the bottom, just take from the middle. So like, see, this is two times the width of this dress. Now we will make this as a circle and we go to the next step. So you can make a spaghetti top measuring like this, it's more the one of the most easiest project. Okay, so let's do the next, the first row. Okay, so 90 chains are over. So what we will do is, we will make sure that the thread is not twisting. So that's why I am doing like this. And then we will go to the last chain. That is this one, the starting chain. And then do a slip knot like this. Okay. So it became a circle. Now what we will do is we will chain we will chain four like this and then yarn over and then skip one, two, three We will chain 5 because see, if we chain 5 the first two chains will be considered as a double crochet and the three chains are the extension and we will skip this one two three chains and then in the third chain so one two three chains we will skip and in the fourth chain we will do one double crochet like this okay now we will chain one two three yarn over 
skip one two three chains and in the fourth chain we will do one double crochet like this so this is how it comes the same way we will continue till we reach here so I will do till here and then I will show so I finished the first row and it looks like this and now I have chained 1 2 3 4 5 so 5 chains 2 chains is out of 5 chains 2 chains is for 1 double crochet like this and then 3 chains is the this extension so you yarn over and go on top of this chain here and do the same pattern that is one double crochet like this and then again chain one two three yarn over skip this three chain go here and do one double crochet so like that we will finish this row also and once we reach here you will do the slip knot to the third chain here and you continue doing this till you reach the length of the uh, what you call tank top or spaghetti top yeah so that's the design which I am going to do so now I will not show I will finish this lengthwise and then I will show how it looks like because it's pretty much the same there is no difference so we just chain three skip these three chains on top of this double crochet you do another double crochet so every double crochet in the previous chain will have the next double crochet here and the chain threes will have the next chain threes that's it okay so i'll finish lengthwise and then i will show okay so i have finished the body of this sweater and I did 28 rows for a 9 to 10 year old kit for a girl. So now I am going to trim this yarn and do a border for this sweater. So you can do the, yarn, uh, the border in, with the same color or you can do with another color. So right now I am going to use another color. So I am going to finish this tail with a slip knot like this and leave it like this. Now I am going to use this yarn which is Naco Calico and it is a 50 percentage premium acrylic yarn, 100 gram, 245 meter and a crochet hook of 2, number 2 is needed for this one. So what I am going to do is, this is the yarn and I am going to take black for this one. So what I am going to do is, I am going to take two threads together because I am using a 4mm needle and I already explained that this yarn is very thick. So I am using a 2mm yarn, two threads for doing the border. So I will do a slip knot like this, just like the starting of the project do a slip knot and insert the yarn needle inside and then in this place where we cut the yarn where we cut the yarn what I do is I go inside that chain and I just leave the tail like this so that it goes inside and then what I do is yarn over and then pull the yarn through the loop which is there in the crochet hook. Now I will chain 3. So 1, 2, 3. So 3 chain which is a double crochet and then go inside this hole. We will keep the tails together like this yarn over, go through this hole, pull the yarn, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, 
yarn over 2 to the next two loops which is a double crochet and same way we will do two more in one hole so one two okay so this is the border which I am going to give for this sweater yeah now I yarn over go inside the next hole which is here and then do the same way double crochet so one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet okay so okay. so this is the border which is going to come I will show one more time and that's how we need to do this yarn over, go inside the hole, yarn over, pull through the first two chains, yarn over and pull through the next two chains, yarn over, go inside the hole, pull through, yarn over and pull through the first two chains, yarn over, pull through the next two chains, yarn over, go inside the hole, yarn over and pull through the first two chains, yarn over and pull through the next two chains, so the border will be like this, so let me finish and then I will show. Okay, so I have finished the border. It looks like this. It looks really pretty. So, what we do is, the last one, the last uh, hole is also done. So, what we do now is a slip stitch to the first chain. And then do one more slip stitch. And then you need to cut the yeah okay now you can tie it since there are two two yarn you can tie a knot here and then you can keep this inside so this part is over now here you need to put the spaghetti strings so we'll, i will tell from where we need to put the spaghetti strings and how long I am going to keep the strings ok so I have measured the length which is needed for the spaghetti string so this is how much it is needed so what I did is you can see this corner so from the corner that is the armpit this this will be the armpit on one side so from the one two three four fifth fifth hole from the fifth hole it is going to the same way one two three four five six so like here one two three four five then here this is the sixth one six then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that's the approximate uh, holes which we have left. Same way here, I have taken here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this, uh, this is the 11th one. So this is how I have taken the measurement. So here 5, here 5. You don't count this part because then you will get confused. So both sides if you are leaving 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in the fifth one I have marked. It's not seen. Okay, so here I have marked 1, 2, 3, 4. And the, this is the fifth one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Same way in the back also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need to adjust here. <coughs> so I will move this one to this one. Same way here also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
back also the same 1 2 3 4 5 so if you are counting from this corner you can take the fifth hole and then put your marker so here what I have done is I have taken a string and I have marked the length which is needed like this I have tied like this now what I do is when I am doing the crochet I will do from here all this length to this hole yeah so that's how I am going to do okay so I am going to start so I am going to use the black thread itself for this one <coughs> so first I make a loop and tie it and then go to this marked area and then yarn over and pull the yarn through the loop which is cut ok now chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 Okay, so I did 25 strings and I'm going here. So the 25 strings, if you see, it's actually it's a little bit long. So I'm going to reduce it to 20. Let me see. <coughs> yes, it's correct. 22. And since I did a wrong marking, so this is the wrong marking. It should be here. So what I do is, here I go and do a slip stitch like this. And then do one more slip stitch to keep it tight. And that's it. So this string is over. If you want to make it little bit, uh, you can. If you want, you can make it double. I'm going to do it like this right now. <coughs> now we will do the same over here. So it's done. The thread is already done. As I told, if if uh, you need a thick thick thread you can do a thick thread right now I have kept like this and let me see <coughs> whether I really need a thick thread so this part is over I did a black for this spaghetti string also I did a black so this is how it came looks really beautiful so I kept the black border and the black spaghetti string so looks nice okay so I kept the spaghetti top on top of the dress which we took for which I took for measurement so that you can see that how fitting it will be I will try to make my daughter wear and if she is not agreeing at least you can see like this yeah and I think it looks cool okay so this is how it looks in the front and in the back thanks for watching please do subscribe thank you so much